everyone. I haven't spoken to you in a little while. I missed you all, so I just came in to have a nice little vlog with you. I want to quickly thank Ely for her contribution to my channel using the super thanks feature below the video. And um, I, I, it was very nice of you, Ely. Thank you for your donation and for being a follower of uh, my channel. Um, now, I do want to talk about a main topic today, but I also want to touch on the coronation of King Charles uh, that happened over the weekend. I don't know about you. I will actually watch the whole thing. I mean the whole thing because um, I am one of the Americans that really like to follow the royal family. I have British ancestry, as do many Americans. Uh, a lot of Americans don't care about the royal family. A lot of us do. So... Um, so anyway, I thought um, the, the main things that I was thinking about were um, William and Kate, obviously, and just how they look so young and regal. I was like, wow, what if they were like king and queen now or king, I guess, and princess consort, or I, I'm not exactly sure what Kate's title would be. And pr little princess Charlotte, she looked beautiful too. I think they'd be like the, just the perfect representation for Britain. And um, but, it, but oh, Charles... Charles is 74 now, and I swear when I saw him file into Westminster Abbey before his coronation, I thought, he looks like he aged like five years in the past year, but, you know, his parents passed, he's king now, I mean, he's got like big responsibility, so, um, but he doesn't, he doesn't look older than his age or anything like that, and even if he did, it doesn't matter, but, um, but yeah, so I, I'm like, I'm happy for him that he, he got his role now, even though he's much older and, you know, doesn't have as much time to enjoy it as maybe someone younger. But that's how it goes, right? That's how it goes. And, uh, and it, the most <laughs> interesting thing here, I know this is going to sound totally ignorant, but I don't know what they call it during the ceremony, but when um, Charles, before he was coronated, right, he was... Um, they do this thing, I guess, where they disrobe the monarch to a certain point, and then they put him behind a privacy screen, right? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I had never heard of that. Because these coronations are so few and far between. So what they did was, I swear they just stripped him down to his pajamas on the altar of the abbey. I was like, is, is King Charles in his PJs right now? Because this is on national TV. So... <laughs> So, um, and my husband's like, well, well, they put him behind a screen, right? Privacy screen. And my husband's like, well, they must be taking him down to his underwear or something because they're putting privacy screens around him. So, um, but apparently I think what it is is that they take either half of their clothing or all their clothing off behind the screen. And they, I think the Archbishop of Canterbury blesses the monarch and then they slowly put his clothes back on. I mean, forgive me because I don't really know what the real protocol is. But that's what it seemed like to me. So um, anyway, um, I really enjoy watching the coronation. It's, it's just wonderful. So uh, so anyway, guys, now on to the, uh, the main topic. I gotta tell you, I don't know how some of you feel because we're kind of living in these strange times right now where um, like everything is really expensive, right? Incl we were talking about food vehicles, housing, and everything, and you kind of don't really want to complain in a way. You want to feel thankful for what you have. But I've got to tell you, I have become someone, I kind of, I want to live in the country. I feel like everything around me is way too noisy. Now, you're talking about somebody who grew up in Philadelphia, like in, in a really bad urban, like, really urban, urban, urban area of Philadelphia. And it, it was, um, it was very, uh, n not very great to grow up in that area, but it's actually noisier where I live now than it was when I grew up. Why? Because everybody thinks when you move to the suburbs, let's say when people get married, have kids, they move to the suburbs, Everybody thinks, oh, this is going to be like peaceful and quiet. I'm going to have like, it's going to be low crime and it's going to be just wonderful. I, like I'm going to be able to get away from the city. A lot of people that grow up in a city think about that when they move to suburbs. 
I want to tell you something. The suburbs are actually noisier, at least for me. Because when I was younger, at least because I maybe I because I didn't live in a great area, there was like hardly anybody ever playing in the street. Like no kids playing in the street. I mean, I would hear the train go by, but that's that's really about it. Some cars go by. So there was like this kind of like constant like little hush of noise, like maybe vehicle noise. But now where I live, there are lawnmowers going every day. There are kids playing outside very noisily, running around. There are trees being cut down and trimmed all the time. Um, there are even like adult neighbors are yelling outside to each other. It, there's just constant noise. There's planes going by overhead. There's just so much noise. And I'm just so tired of it, guys. I just, I want to get away to the country. Now I know why people like buy property like with like 50 acres on it in a tiny house and are happy there because that's how I feel that I, that's what I feel like I want now. And I never really thought I was going to be somebody like that because I used to love living in the city. Well, I, when I moved downtown anyway, I loved living in the city, but I was a, like a single girl. But I think I've been oversensitized to all this noise. It's just too, it's just too much. And so I want to be able to live in an area that has like nobody around. I mean, I love you guys, but I have a problem with just kind of like being around people in person in general, for the most part, I think, like strangers and stuff. Oh, and another thing that happens is um, solicitors come to your door and they want to sell you things. They want to either sell you like a new roof, new windows. They want to sell you like meat, a subscription to a meat. There's a guy that occasionally comes around that sells meat from his truck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of meat it is, guys. I mean, I you know he's trying to earn a living, but that's not, I'm not sure I'd be buying that. Um, but yeah, so it reminds me of this movie I saw, right? There's this movie that I really like. And in it, it's kind of, it ends up being about like an alien, uh, alien abduction and stuff. But this family goes on a trip. Okay, they go on a trip to like a mountainous area, like a lot of trees and everything. And they're going, they, they anyway, they're driving in, the dad's driving in with the mom and the kids. And they get lost. Their GPS, they get lost, right? It says the GPS says um, recalculating, 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 and it just doesn't ever like find them where they need to go. So they're lost, and then the mom finds a map in the car, but just then they run out of gas. Okay, they run out of gas, and all this like some crazy stuff starts happening, like birds like fall on their car and stuff. And anyway, it's a little ominous, but so. The family gets, like, they get out of their vehicle and they start looking around for help to see if they can find somebody with a phone. And so they encounter this guy and I guess he, like, they found, I think he has a house, like, way back in the woods or something in this uh, mountainous area. And so I think he comes up to them with a rifle, but he, you know, he puts it down. And then the dad says, says something to him like, um, what are you doing living out all here all by yourself? And the guy, he's like a country guy, he's like, he's like, man, I'm out here to get away from y'all. <laughs> that's what he said. And it's like, that's kind of how I feel. I feel like that guy, like, give me a little cabin, give me a little house with a lot of trees around it and no people. And that's what I want because I don't want to be hearing any noise or anything like that. And um, it was a good movie, but it does kind of get like a little scary and stuff. So, but yeah, so I, I'd like to know for all of you, are you happy with where you live? Do you want to move to the city? Do you want to move to the country or what? The problem here is everything is really expensive now. So even if you've like managed to sell your house with equity for a good amount of money, the problem is... When you move out, you still need a place to live. I don't want to go back to living in an apartment, guys. And then, because it could take some time to buy a house, you know, to find a house and stuff. And I just like, I don't really know what to do. I don't, I want to appreciate where I live. The interest rates are higher now than when we bought a house. And 
and everything and it's just like the only thing you can do is even though we want fresh air it's like close the windows maybe close the curtains to get rid of the noise but oh guys I, I would really like to hear what your situation is and what you want to do at one point we thought of like moving in you know getting an rv and stuff like that and moving around but the problem with that is there's more than one problem and a lot of people manage to happily live in rvs rvs don't build value like houses do like real estate does and so the benefit to it is you can move around you can go where you want but a lot of these campgrounds are also full too like besides the rv not besides the rv losing value because it's a vehicle um, you go to these campgrounds and it can be very expensive. So for example, let's say you have a non-traditional family. Let's say you have adults in your family in addition to the husband and wife. Um, a lot of these campgrounds, they want to charge you extra for adults. Um, like they want to charge you an extra $10 a day for adults versus having kids uh, in the RV. So you're, it ends up being a cost of having an apartment. Anyway, tell me below what you guys think. And um, do you want to move somewhere else and why? All right. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.